Good morning, everybody. I'm wearing a romper to pretend that I have my life together. <laughs> anyway, I figured I'd dress up cute. I just feel a little bit better about myself than wearing whatever I wear. Shorts, whatever, mom clothes. Does that exist? I don't know. Anyway, I'm on a walk with Leo. It's been so beautiful the past two days. I just want to be outside and enjoy it since I, we've been busy packing. Uh, tomorrow is our pack out day. Oh my God, it's finally here. In two and a half months, we'll be at this TLF. That's the temporary large lodging facility. And we'll be staying there for six days, I believe. It's supposed to be 10 days, but how it follows on, like they're not open on the weekend. I don't know. Today is September 7th. Tomorrow is September 8th and it's pack out day. I just got a notification from my air tags that I'm moving away from the air tags. Anyway, this is not a very flattering view of me. I'm gonna show you guys what we've done up until this point and it's been so much work. I've honestly have had so much like anxiety like in my chest and that's not normal for me. What? What's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah, we're walking. That's just not normal for me, so I'm super stressed out. I'm gonna continue our walk, enjoy our walk, and I'll show you guys what we've done so far. Okay, so we had the crib here, now it's gone. This is a box of my clothes. I cleared all that, like we have no shelves anymore. This is now my closet. here the crib mattress everything's cleared most of the stuff is packed they just gotta pack some stuff um, that's gonna go in unaccompanied then we go into the really packed out room this is it guys this is crazy right now there's the mini crib this was the shelf that was in my closet. Devin made this, okay? My husband is the master organizer and stacker. Do you see this? It's crazy, we've got gorilla cases. If you're not in the military, gorilla cases are like military. I mean, anybody can buy them, but a lot of military people use them because of always moving. And then we have this side. It's just crazy in here, crazy. Like, like we have stuff back here wild we just packed out a lot of our stuff in here come on fluff and then i'll show you the balcony this is the balcony now it looks so empty from my garden and then we gotta look at that fluffy get in the house he loves to be outside but there's all my garden boxes it's crazy oh All right, Leo is down for a nap. I just wanted to chit chat with you guys about being a military wife and PCSing. Oh my God. Not only is like moving super stressful like in general, but when you're PCSing on top of PCSing overseas, let me tell you, it is so stressful, like beyond stressful. I've been having this really bad anxiety for seven days for all week so tomorrow we're like i said before tomorrow we're getting i mean the movers are coming for our household goods if you're not in the military you get two shipments household goods and then unaccompanied baggage so tomorrow is september 8th we get our household goods sorry that you hear outside noise uh, i'm trying to have the door open for natural light our unaccompanied baggage which is a smaller shipment it's up to a thousand pounds comes on september 30th i believe we live in such a small space it's a about I think 900 square feet it's a two bedroom one bathroom and it's so small for us I have so much business stuff just because naturally like I've always had a business and then I even expanded my business here and had a home-based business here like I just have so much stuff with that Devin has a lot of big things we just have so much stuff okay like who doesn't have a lot of stuff it's just crazy like it's hard to organize and move around the house because the house in general is like a maze to begin with and then add all the stuff that you're trying to pack generally with the military the movers pack everything for you but I have like a crystal shop and 
you know, massage and yoga. Like I have a lot of little things, like I gotta pack the crystals one at a time. There's just a, like a lot of little things to pack and it would take them forever to pack that. And it's just super delicate and I prefer to pack it. Just in general to like organize everything, there's just so much to like go through. And I just might as well as pack it. A big tip, if you're trying to get boxes, if you live on a base, ask the main page for your base if anybody has boxes. People are PCSing all the time. This is a great way to save money, not spend money on boxes. Plus, it's a great way to help the environment and reuse boxes. That's one way I got all of our boxes. We have a ton of boxes. All you have to do is ask. When you have your pre-inspection, housing should give you tape and boxes and paper. They didn't even ask us because I already had boxes and stuff, but they should supply that for you. So you can ask them for that as well. So that's a big tip for you guys. If you're in the process of PCSing or for future PCS moves, I've been super overwhelmed. I've been getting like this anxiety like in my chest that I've only had when Leo got really hurt. It's a horrible feeling. I haven't been able to sleep. My mental health hasn't been great. I haven't been eating great. I'm so ready for this to be over with so that I can kind of get my life back on track. But yeah, it's super, super stressful. And I feel like a lot of people who don't understand like military life don't realize how stressful that it is because moving overseas <laughs> i'm moving back to the states i mean and that's just crazy like there's so much paperwork involved so many different appointments it's not like you just packing up your house and then like you're leaving thankfully the military provides movers for you right so i even had some people think that we just pack up and move and we get like a shipment company you know how insane that would be that would be so insane. The military moves your house for you, which they should, right? They have you moving all over the world. Yeah, I've been really struggling with like my mental health lately and just my stress levels. I am just someone that if something is not done, it's gonna be constantly on my mind. I'm so happy that the time is finally here and tomorrow we are packing out. Like the unaccompanied baggage is not like a big deal to me because it's a smaller package and like all of our stuff will out. Honestly, like I just need the space. Our house is so packed out. I cannot wait to move and have a bigger space to live in. I'm just ready to move forward. So it's such a limbo feeling. And also like, I know like I'm super excited for my stuff to leave, to have the space, but like to have nothing for two and a half, about two and a half months is insane too at the same time. It's just so much change and so much adjusting with PCSing. Anyway, I just had to vent that out. I know other military spouses completely understand what I'm talking about. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I know my neighbor, she's also PCSing at the same time, around the same time, but she's leaving tomorrow actually. She just had her unaccompanied bag today and she's just as stressed or even more than me because she's actually never lived in the states my husband's just like let them pack everything like i have so much school stuff and paperwork that i don't want them shifting through i don't want them going through like my laundry either and stuff like that so it's like i'm very ocd when it comes to like my stuff they could pack the kitchen they could pack my books and stuff like that but mainly like my bathroom stuff my beauty stuff i need to like go through all that and i need to like organize that and that's just my type of person Personality, I have to organize and go through everything. My husband's just like, let them pack everything. Ah, uh, no. And um, my friend agreed with me. Her husband was the same way. I know I'm not the only one. That is the update on that. Just waiting for Leo to get up from her nap and then we're gonna feed him lunch and then continue on whatever we're doing for the day. Not sure what else we're gonna do. I'm definitely hanging out with my neighbor for our last day of hanging out and I'm so sad. It's just, I'm going through so much at this at once and it's like my brain needs like to dump everything in anyway i'm just gonna keep rambling so i'm gonna stop this here all the kitchen stuff the last thing i have to do is the kitchen this is my post Post packing. Leo sleeping. We made it. I finished everything. Literally to the last day. Started August 1st. It's taken me forever. Alright. So here's the kitchen. Just some stuff that I put like on the counter. We just moved the couch, put the playpen there so he could put stuff here. Sorry. From the storage. That's my bike. 
And that's a wrap for tonight. See you in the morning. All right, got this huge space bag with all his cloth diapers. Dun, dun, dun. Look at this closet, packed out to the rim. So pretty decent <laughs> and this protects it from getting humid all right we got three bags here highly recommend getting these bags because of humidity you don't want them to ruin your clothes plus it's like more room out of all this stuff there's the closet all right making progress the movers coming today moving day Today is moving day. Good morning, everybody. I have been waiting for this day for a very long time. And yes, I'm wearing overalls with a tank top. I can't even get into my clothes right now. I've been waiting for this way. Elio, look at you. He's eating breakfast. I have been waiting for this day for three years. There's a lot to say behind that, but it's finally here. The living room is packed out right now of stuff. I just finished like the last item that I had to pack. I did some base bags, vacuum bags, sealed bags. Today's the day, the movers should be here. It's about 7.30. They might get here at 7.45, a little early, but they should be here and hopefully it all goes smoothly and they get it done within two hours. That's the goal. I packed a lot of stuff. Now the guest room is like kind of impossible to even get into right now. Look, right there, the laundry room is packed of all our pillows, the comforters, like stuff they can't touch. This is about as far as I can go. This is my surfboard. There's so many things in here. Move it day. Super exciting. Oh, I'm so excited to have freaking space in the house. This is wild right now. The Japanese are gonna be like, whoa, they pack so much. Like all of this is packed for the most part and then i opened all the like cabinets so they know to just make it easier for them and i put x's everywhere of where they can't go into i did these space bags as i showed you and i opened those cabinets we have a million hangers <laughs> these are japanese boxes they're really tiny devin brought this stuff in from the storage unit so they don't have to go in storage Leo wants some waffles. Here's Fluffy. He's not eating his bananas though. I opened all those cabinets. We're ready to go. Now Fluffy. Fluffy doesn't know what's going on. He's like, what's happening? I'm probably gonna make this into a PCS series because this is my second, second time PCSing. And maybe it could be helpful tips for other military spouses or significant others that have never PCS before. We'll see, we'll see how much time I got. These are my ICPs, it's just stuff for, it's prebiotics, high in fiber, my drink in the morning. Oh, Leo, he's eating a waffle. I gave him some banana, but he's not eating it. Oh. All right, guys, we're ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. I've had so much anxiety leading up to this day. Like even today, like my stomach is like all like, uh, I just, I'm ready to move forward. I know I keep saying that, but it's just like, I'm ready for our new chapter in life. Yeah, the bikes. Yeah. So cute. Dun dun, the movers are here. They're ready for us. Dun dun dun. A beautiful day. <gasps> Moving day! <laughs> She's be so sad. Lay down, girl. Appreciate it, man. I know you're busy. I know you're busy. This uh, air conditioning is up there. Where to put it? Uh, in the laundry room. So the Japanese, well, the military movers are professional. They'll wrap everything with this paper. Over. 
neighbors are now on a break. All our stuff is in the hallway. This is typical PCS. Oh, there's our vacuum. All along. We're on a break, so this is the situation. What book? The red and the gray one. There she is. Oh. Look at mommy. Let me see. Leo, let me see. TV back outside. Ah. Update it is around one o'clock and the movers are still here. They're on their lunch break now. They should be done in like a few minutes, but I'm walking Leo. He hasn't had his nap yet today, so I'm gonna walk him and see if he falls asleep and if not, it's okay. But I think the movers will be done in about an hour. They started at 8 a.m., so not too long. I hear my dog crying. It's okay, Shiva. <laughs> We're on the eighth, eighth floor and she's barking. Do you hear her? <laughs> Shiva! See if she pokes up. She's not paying attention. <laughs> I'm excited to film some moody fall September. Well, more October by the time all my videos go up. October vibes. The leaves are starting to fall already. It's a beautiful day out though. It's a beautiful day that our stuff's getting packed. Ooh, it just feels so good that everything's gonna be out of the house. And I'll show you guys how the house looks so empty. Oh, I'm so excited. The biggest crows that live here. As you saw that crow I was showing you guys. Leo passed out within like a few minutes. I went down the block and he was already passed out. This is the truck. The other one was actually for somebody else. They got two trucks. Empty. It's empty. I have a vacuum. Stop it. Oh, the trucks. Just sealing it up. 
Where's the truck? Where's the truck? Now we're waiting for FML come to come, and that is our temporary furniture. We get a couch, a coffee table, two nightstands, a full-size bed, a, a bed for Leo, and a, a dresser. And then we're gonna go to the loan locker. So if your squadron should have a loan locker of where people let you like loan things like blenders, toasters, like it could be whatever. It doesn't have to be specific things. It's whatever someone loans to the loan locker. Make sure you ask your spouse about a loan locker. I'm not sure if every squadron has that, but we have it. We also have a high chair that I borrowed from a friend. They don't provide freaking high chairs at the mall furniture place. Coming at 3.30, it's about 3.16, so they should be here soon. So we'll wait for that, and then probably go to the lawn washer. We only have the cure. My voice echoes now. It is so, it's such a weird feeling that everything is gone. It's like, I can't fully process it yet, that all my stuff is gone. Oh, it's happening! Like, it's like, is this really happening? So the bonus of my balcony is that I could see when the people come. Here they come with our 70 year old 70s furniture. <laughs> That's the coffee table on top of the, dre the dresser. Oh, we got two dressers. Nice. Okay, so far, this is our setup. We got a table. Devin's going downstairs to get the high chair. Then that was our nightstand, but these come with two nightstands, a couch, and then a coffee table, but we have this pen. But honestly, like, I really like need lamps. I like light, and it's already so dark in here, and it's only gonna get darker because of, like, the daylight, like, the time and stuff. And I'm like, ugh, I just love light. Like, I would have my lamp there. That's pretty much the light. It really does make such a difference when you have the light. There's Fluffy. There's our Berkey dehumidifier. The cure egg and then the rest is in the room but she was in there right now and i have her blocked out all right guys leo's making a big mess but i put a sheet over and i kept these pillows because i'm just gonna get rid of them Devin hates them so i put a sheet on there's a blanket i put the berkey on this nightstand that i'm just eventually getting rid of she was looking and I'll show you the furniture that we got so we got two dressers I just have different things in here I have uh, this dresser and thankfully like this is height level where I could change his diaper which is great I mean I'm only gonna have this for a month but it's better than nothing this is Leo's. these are the mattresses that's supposed to be Leo's and now we don't have the side rails. So it's just like, uh. But anyway, I'm totally creeped out by the mattresses. Like that mattress is from 2015. Is that what that means? Gross. I'm gonna like double sheet these. I don't know. One night stands there. The other one's here because it was blocking the closet. And then we get a nice big dresser. This is mine. <laughs> 